Alright, Zach the Purdue fan here. Uh, coming to you here on uh, on YouTube today. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, what just happened. That monstrosity of, a, of something that um, us human beings call a football game. Um, now, here's what I'm going to say. I'm not going to come on here and cry and complain about the referees. Because I will say this, many opportunities were left on the table. Think of it this way. In the middle of the first quarter, okay, are we still recording here? Yeah. Sorry, I just had a pop of my screen and my uh, battery was going low. But, um, on my phone. But anyways, oh, getting my camera right. First quarter, okay, it's 7-14, to 14, Minnesota. You come down, put a nice little drive together. Didn't end the way you wanted it to. Got to kick a field goal, okay? 32 yards, right hash. Straight through. Kick is good, okay? Then, it's now 24 to 10 or 21-10, something like that. And you're kicking another field goal again. Even shorter. A 27-yard field goal. Still right hash, okay? Gets blocked. Then, you kick another one late in the game from 33, right hash. You missed it wide right. And you also had the Rondale Moore touchdown catch that was batted out of his hands. See, all you Purdue fans will cry and complain that the refs screwed us over on that offensive P.I. call. And I'll admit it, it was a bad call. Right? All of us can agree. All the, if you live in a region and you get the Big Ten network on your TV package, okay? Either that or you bought or you paid extra money for it. You can agree, unless if you're a Minnesota fan, that that offensive pass interference was a bad call. Okay? But you got to realize that that Minnesota offense dominated our defense for three and a half quarters. Okay? Now, they did keep us in it towards the end of the game. But in the middle, but you realize Minnesota, up until about three minutes to go in the whole game, they only punted one time. One punt. One punt for 57 minutes out of the 60 in the game. Pass defense, terrible. Run defense, it was bad up until about five minutes left in the game. I told you guys in my video this was going to be a shootout, and it was. Just an offensive display by both the Gophers and the Boilermakers. But there's just all these Purdue fans that are blaming the referees on screwing us on this offensive P.I. call. Yeah, you can do that. Everyone will admit it was a bad call. But you gotta understand, the way we started the game, giving up touchdowns on like three... or. or Three of the first four drives that Minnesota had. You can't do it. You can't. Same, Basically, the same thing happened last week against Northwestern. See, the thing that happened, we dug ourselves in a hole, and it was difficult for us to get back out. Just there's so many things that we could have done better. And all these Purdue fans are blaming the officials. I mean, yeah, I don't think it should have been offensive pass interference, but you have to look at it this way. You missed two field goals. If if you didn't have these special teams errors, see, I said this on my live stream. Many football fans, no matter what level of football you watch, whether it's your local high school team, your favorite college football team you root on Saturday, on Saturdays, 
your favorite NFL team that you root for on Monday, Thursday, or Sunday. There's so many people out there that take the kicking game for granted. People don't understand how important it is. I bet you 75% of the American population can believe they can kick a field goal. With a rush, a snap, and a hold. People don't understand how important it is. Heck, as a Purdue fan, I think the kicking game is what is what made us lose this game. And there's so many people out there that say the refs did on the Payne Durham offensive pass interference call. But like I've said for about 50 times in this video, so many opportunities left on the table. The two missed field goals. The touchdown that got batted out of Rondale Moore's hands. And the defense playing absolutely terrible for three and a half quarters. Just, and, and the offense looked absolutely amazing tonight. It really did. Now, the run game can get better. But now that we have Rondale Moore back, just opens up things for so many other people. Because what you're going to see next week when Rutgers comes to town is that the Rutgers defense is going to be focusing on Rondale Moore. Now, what does that do? It opens up windows for David Bell and Milton Wright and TJ Sheffield. Just... The defense and the special teams has to get better. The way we started, Minnesota only only punted one time out of the 57 in 57 of the 60 minutes that are played in a football game. Their second punt didn't come until the three-minute mark of the fourth quarter. Now, both teams did an amazing job on fourth down, to, on a, not fourth down, third down tonight. But just the kicking game in the defense is, I think, what lost us this game. And like I said, so many people will blame the refs. But you got to realize how many missed opportunities. Did you, you realize how many, how many third downs Minnesota had? The amount of chances the defense had to get off the field. And bring Jack Plummer and his crew back on offense. If the if the defense would have stopped Minnesota on half of their third down conversions, I believe we could have scored in the fifties. I I really do. I I really do. With how cl how much this offense was clicking tonight, I really think we could have scored in the fifties. I, I really, I really do. Hey, maybe even to the sixties. Now, I may be, I may be crazy on that one, making a little bit of a stretch, but just Purdue's playing Rutgers next week. A team you should not underestimate. They are better than their uh, one and three, one and four record, or whatever. Um, they played. They beat Michigan. Their only win is against a terrible Michigan State team, but you gotta you gotta admit Rutgers looked good in that game. They played a close game to uh, Indiana. They also played Rutgers. Uh, Rutgers played Rutgers. No, they also played Ohio State. But we all know what happened in that game. But I I really want to thank everyone who uh, came out to the live stream today. It was an amazing stream. Um, we had a lot of people active in the comments section. Um, even we we even had some people. We had a perp, we had someone from Italy. We had someone from Australia. Um, just shout out to everyone who was in the stream. I'm looking to do it again next Saturday when Purdue takes on Rutgers. And um, this has been Zach the Purdue fan. I'll see you next week. Peace. Boiler up. Hammer down. Hail Purdue.